What's up everyone, this is Grim Reaper Sage here, this is another boss fight guide, this is for the Mimic tier, um, so I've included what I'm running, I'm currently still trying to swap it, eventually I'll lose the two Great Axes and swap it for two Colossal Weapons, so as you can see it includes what I've got, I've killed Renan, so I'm using some of his gear, and I've got Golden Vow on my weapon which is, gives you attack and defense bonuses for about 30 or 40 seconds I'm also running the jellyfish which is level 1 literally as soon as I get the mimic tier summon I'll bin the jellyfish because the mimic tier is the best thing because it's stronger and everything else it's basically just copy what you got so I've started using rune arcs um, mainly because I had quite a lot of them and realize that they're actually really super strong and good to give you like bonuses and stuff so as normal I've gone before I've gone in the boss I've gone in there I've popped a random grease on my weapon it's normally fire just because it's quite easy to make and fire does extra damage gone in there popped golden veil before so it ups my attack and defense for about 30 seconds popped the old jellyfish I didn't know what the boss was I didn't realise that it was the Mimic tier. I was super excited fighting this because I thought maybe when I kill it, I'd actually get it. Um, but yeah, the Mimic tier is not a terribly hard enemy to fight. It's basically whatever you have when you go into the boss, it will have. So it can pop greases if you have greases on your bar. You know, but it will have whatever weapon you have. So... It did hit me pretty hard because obviously I've got two quite, they're like level 5s and 6s weapons and they're pretty strong weapons. Um, he can heal as well. I think he only has like one or two heals. So one thing that is kind of a good thing, you have all your heals. So as you can see there he's trying to heal but he hasn't got any. So again the jellyfish is good because it will just hit him and do like damage over time, poisons and blood and stuff. But yeah, the best thing to do is basically just wail on him. And if you need to back off, just back off. And then, you know, wait for him to heal and then go to town on him. Hopefully you find this helpful. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.